world to take blizzard it's a little finger and welcome to code fatal yes this is the new battle pass that just came out uh for this month of september and i am going to try to explain it to the best of my ability and let you decide whether or not it is worth investing in all right, so let's quickly go back to the garage and I'll try to explain this as best I can. First, make sure you hit that subscribe button, like and share, leave a comment, really helps me a lot. The battle pass icon here to get to the page is right here in the top left hand corner. First, let's go up to the store under bundles and you can buy the premium pass for $5, which is my recommendation. And as we go through this, I think you'll get a better understanding why. All right, the hack pass is 20 bucks if you're in a hurry or you know you really want to make sure you get to the end and you're not worried about the 15 additional dollars, it gives you 25 levels for free. All right, now let's go into the battle pass. Here are all the goodies we get for each section that is completed. Uh, the top row here is just for the free pass, so you're going to get everything on this list, and I'm going to summarize this in a little bit. Those with the premium pass are going to get everything on the top and everything on the bottom two rows here. So what's the big deal about the battle pass? Well, um, outside of all of these additional goodies, you get the DW, um, which is given to you actually for free and which is 100 gold and then at level 35 which obviously everyone's talking about and is in the picture is your eraser bp44 wargaming's done a great job with the skin on this tank it looks amazing but let's face it it's just an arl44 reskinned um, it actually has a bigger derpier gun doing less damage per minute but we'll get into that a little bit later or maybe another video back to the start here um, you complete each one of these stages, as you can see, I'm on level 8, 5 of 10. So you've got to get 10 chips in order to complete a level. You get the chips by completing your daily missions. There are 30 chips here for those with the free pass. If you've got the battle pass, there is one extra line item here that will be um, unavailable to those with the free pass that gives you 10 additional chips. So it's either 30 chips or 40 chips per day, depending upon which pass you have. All right, so that's going to either let you complete three or four of these a day. And believe it or not, yeah, as we scroll to the right, there's 80 of them 80 eight zero um so at three a day that is going to be 26.6 so 27 days so if you started yesterday and you complete every single mission you can finish these 80 levels just in the nick of time um but Let's get into and talk about the vaults next. All right, so there's vaults on top of all of those goodies that you saw being given away. There's the free EXP vault, which has 10,000 in it. There's the gold vault, which will get up to 1,000 on the free pass. And then there is uh, credits, which will get up to half a million credits on uh, the free pass. Now, why do I keep saying on the free pass? Well, as we get into some of the later levels here, let me scroll back to the right. Um, if we look at level 75, it's going to increase the vault of your free EXP up from 10,000 to 50,000. Level 70, if you can get to level 70, it's going to increase the gold from 1,000 to 2,000. And level 65 is going to increase the credit vault there from 15 to 1.5 million dollars. You still need to keep winning battles to increasing the size of those after this. So I'm not sure where you will end up, um, you know, playing between 70 and, and, and 80. Um, hopefully those will get filled up. But as you can see, as we scroll back, you've got free days of premium time, you've got free EXP, you've got credits, and you've got gold. So what is the big difference? All right, so I've summarized these, and hopefully my math is correct. But with a free pass, you will get 650,000 credits if you complete all the missions. You will get 
650,000 credits, hopefully I said that right, 20,000 free EXP, and 250 gold. My understanding is you also get what's in the vaults, which is an additional 10,000 free EXP, 1,000 gold, and five, 500,000 credits. Now, if you have the bottom battle premium pass, then you will get in credits an additional 2 million, making that 2.6 million in credits. Free EXP, 30,000, making that a total of 50,000 free EXP. And 750 additional gold, making that 1,000 gold. And you will get an additional 5 days of premium time. You get 5 regular and, and 5 on the premium pass, so you get 10 days of premium time. And then, on top of that, you get the increased size in the vaults, which would be an additional 50,000 free EXP, making the total of the event 100,000 free EXP. Gold up to 2,000, making that 3,000 gold. And then the credits, uh, an additional 1.5 million on top of your 2.6 million. So well over 4 million in credits. Um, so with all of that said, even without the tank, $5 is a good deal in my opinion. Uh, 3,000 gold divided by 5 is 650 gold per dollar. Uh, and that doesn't even include the tank. So, yeah, I would say go ahead and invest your five dollars, um, provided that you you know play regularly and that you can at least get yourself up into you know these mid-tier levels where you're getting additional gold and additional credits and stuff. I mean, if you can get up to 1750 and gold, that's perfect. Um, it's going to be a, a a really good deal for you overall so um hope you guys like the summary here um and we'll do a a review on this tank here shortly so hopefully we'll see you out there on the battlefield guys um, and have fun stay safe get educated not fingered little finger out